Uh, Substance Painter Quick Start is on there as well. So all of that stuff I'll use. I'm also Stylized Brush Modeling has some Keyshot in there as well. Uh-oh, looks like Nightbot's being a pain too. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, I don't wanna, sorry about that. Uh, Aspie, I don't know why Nightbot's being a butthead. Um, ever using Z Sketch? Yes, we. I use a ton of Z Sketching for creature stuff. It's so fun and fluid. So when we do, we we'll get into creature stuff too. Oh, thanks for the kind words, Vlad. Um, probably not for. I mean, for this stuff too, we probably can. It's pretty easy. And if you wanted to do like tree roots and stuff, it's really cool for that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an insert Z sphere, and uh, that's just gonna put a Z sphere right in the middle of our object. It's kind of hidden, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we turn off transparency, go to Z sketch, and turn that on. You can just start dragging Z sketches out, and then of course you have you know shift to smooth and all that good stuff. And you can also go away from your object here and make bigger, smaller uh, stuff going on. But if you wanted to do like tree roots, kind of climbing along a surface, Z sketching is great for that. Just kind of go through here and just start adding like you know those tree roots they have. I think it's a place in India where they got those temple ruins and they got the tree roots all coming down. This is really good for that type of stuff. And of course, if you hold down Alt, you can kind of delete. And then once you're ready to start sculpting on this thing, just go to your topology, no, nope, sorry, um, unified skin, hit preview. And then you can, you know, you can change, change your resolution as needed. But we'll go ahead and say make unified skin here. And then that throws a unified skin out here. We'll go ahead and insert that skin Z sphere. Looks like Pepper's really excited to go potty today. And go to delete. And then there we go. We got our skin Z sphere here, and now it's just a sculptable mesh. You can just go through here and smooth and clay brush and dynamesh and all that weird stuff you want to do. 